welcome back it is a week since we've been on our cruise um i can't believe it's been a whole week um we we had the best time um but i thought today i would do a bit of a sit down video and um, just talk about just talk about the cruise in general really um i was gonna do like a bit of a highlights and and things like that but there was nothing really that like disappointed me um to be honest so i thought i'd just talk a little bit about the cruise what we did um what we really enjoyed if there was any little tips i picked up um and i thought i'd show you what i bought as well um there's not a whole lot um we didn't go crazy um but yeah i guess i'll just <laughs> go from the start really um check in um obviously i think i've talked I don't know if I've talked about this previously. Check-in online was an absolute nightmare. Um, nothing was working. There was no no bookings available. Like no one could book the show and the kids clubs and things like that. And it was just all a bit of a mess. But eventually we did get checked in. Um, we had a port arrival time of half past one. Um, they did say if you arrived within half an hour, half an hour before your port arrival time, you were allowed in. And so we arrived at one o'clock and we walked straight in and um, we went through like a little security thing at Liverpool Arena, straight down to the testing and, and we were literally through within minutes. There was no queuing whatsoever. Um, straight down to the pre team who just double checked your vaccination. You then got allocated a booth to go and get tested. Um, if you are and this is probably a little tip if you are testing or trying to get children used to lfts at home which i know i've read a lot online that people are doing the swab that prenetics are using is a lot bigger than the lfts that we use at home and um, it was a little bit of a shock when she handed it to me and um, you are able to do it yourself though and um, but that is just a a pretty warning it is a lot fatter um, and it is a little bit uncomfortable and um, I felt like I'd got used to doing them at home um, but yeah so that's just one little thing and um, they said our results could take up to half an hour to come back and um, we had ours within 15 minutes so um, we you then go up to another team who check that you have actually got your results and um, it comes up on their iPad and then you're sent through to another hall where you go through a check-in desk and they just check your passports and your and um, I think they asked for our stateroom number there that's they just it I think they're just double checking your ID you then get allocated a seat and you have to wait there for the coach now this probably won't be the case with all ports I know Southampton I think we're doing their testing at the port and um, I'm not sure about London and Newcastle what they're doing but for Liverpool we had to go to the arena first and we were then bussed down to the ship and we were on the ship by half two I think and um, so a total of kind of an hour and a half from arriving at the the arena but it really didn't seem like an hour and a half it went very quickly and um, so that's that was that um you then get on the ship and you are taken straight to Fathoms where they set up your or they check that you've got the navigator app set up properly because that obviously is used for, for kind of your activities that you've booked and um, your dining rotation is also on there even though you've got it on your card um all of that's on there so they go in there and check that you've got that set up properly because you have to have your phone on um, like aeroplane mode and then connected to their wi-fi um, it's all a little bit complicated <laughs> um, but the cast members were amazing and checked that we had it set up and then we were sent on where we went to the atrium and they did the, the little welcome you know to each family and things like that um amazing um i think on the first day it was i believe it was just cabanas that was open for lunch um i don't believe lumiere's or anywhere like that was open um, but we headed to Cabanas. It is still a buffet, 
um, but you do not serve yourself <laughs> um, obviously um, they've got tons and tons of cast members um, behind the the counters serving you and you can still you know go up and down as much as you want they've got cast members serving you drinks as well and um, all very well organized very efficient um yeah so that was kind of our first day our room was it was after four o'clock when we got to our room but i believe it it probably was ready a little bit earlier and um, i think it was about 10 past four when we got there um so i have a feeling our key to the world card had been there for a little while our luggage wasn't there um we didn't get our luggage till near eight o'clock i think um so probably my tip for that would be to pack your first night's outfit and um, it's a little bit harder i think if you've got children and you're planning like different princess dresses and kind of themed outfits for uh, your restaurants um but for us it was it was okay um you know we had kind of the bits we needed in our hand luggage um, and our stateroom host went and found our cases very quickly um so that's another little tip if your case isn't there just just ask them um and they'll probably be able to find it in a couple of minutes um our room we had an inside stateroom it was there was plenty of space a lot more than i expected um i had looked it up and upgrade into a veranda room it was 800 pounds to upgrade to that for two of us um which is very expensive and in my opinion not worth it at all the inside state rooms have so much room and actually the amount of time we spent in the room there's no way we'd have got 800 pounds worth out of a different room maybe if we'd had a veranda we would have spent more time in the room but there is so much going on on the ship and um, that actually we didn't have really enough time i don't there's probably more things i wanted to do that we didn't have time to do um so in my opinion go for the cheapest because there's so much to do on the ship that you're in the room very little um yeah we had our dining rotation which was lumiere's animator's palette and then rapunzel's on the last night and then from what i believe you get allocated your last night's dinner as your last day's breakfast and that is the only breakfast that is allocated to you and the rest you can kind of pick and choose where you want to go and um, places like cabanas are open lumiere's and um, i believe rapunzel's is open as well some days i have a feeling they switch between lumiere's and rapunzel's and um, i never never saw animators palette open for breakfast and um, i don't think that's an option and um, you've got all your quick service as well so there's places like daisy's delights ducking diner all of those that do so much food all day um the drink station is up on deck nine as well by the pool which is open i believe 6 a.m to midnight so you can kind of go whenever you want um you know to that and and get your drinks and stuff um if you are getting more than two it is they don't give you a tray well i think i saw people carrying cups on a plate <laughs> Um, but a little tip I saw, and I forgot to do it, was to get one of the cardboard carriers from like McDonald's or KFC or somewhere like that, and to actually take that with you, um, so that you can get more um, than than like two at a time. Um, so yeah, in terms of restaurants, um, they were all amazing. We loved all of them. Um, I I said Animator's Palette was my favourite. Uh, I actually can't pick now after eating at Rapunzel's I think I, I loved them all they were all amazing the theming was amazing probably my least favorite would have been Lumiere's just because there wasn't there wasn't there wasn't anything going on in Lumiere's and um, it's a beautiful restaurant the food is amazing and obviously the theming is amazing too but at Animator's Palette obviously you will have seen in one of my previous vlogs that there was a like you you draw a character and then it's put onto the screen and all of that there's so much going on and then Rapunzel's is the same you have Rapunzel and Flynn and um Hook Hand and Vladimir I think it was um 
who were doing a show throughout dinner so for me those two kind of were on a par um i think even lumiere's was i just liked the fact that there was shows at the others um going on um food wise there is so much to choose from you can eat as much as you want um, as little as you want um we tended to have like three courses each night and we maybe had the salad as well um on a couple of occasions um but if there is something you don't want or you so for example at rapunzel's i really wanted the steak but i'm not a fan of mashed potato really um i think it was i think the options were mashed potato a baked potato or rice i'd had rice a couple of nights before at lumiere's with chicken I'm not a fan of mash and I didn't particularly want a baked potato with steak. Um, you can just ask for whatever you want. So my server, I asked for chips um, and he got me chips with my steak. Um, yeah, you can, you know, if there's something, if there's not something on the menu that suits you, just ask them and they'll accommodate it, provided it's not completely ridiculous and they can accommodate it, um, but generally they can accommodate any requests that you have. Um, activities wise there was so much going on. There was characters about all of the time and um, virtually all day every day there was you know characters in the cinema um, throughout the day. Um, I think it was the cinema. Maybe it was one of the theatres. Yeah, there, there was characters in, I think, one of the smaller theatres. There was characters in the atrium, there was characters on deck. Um, we didn't actually find any of the ones on deck, but I have since seen photographs of people with them. Um, it's very hard to know where exactly they're going to be. Um, apart from things like the atrium or the theatre, um, where it actually states on the app that there's characters in those locations. Um, one of the other... The, the ones on deck kind of just say the Disney magic and it just said it said something like Disney pals appear and wave so it was very hard to find those ones on deck um, but I believe deck four and I want to say deck five as well they kind of appear outside so if you kind of do a loop um, you'll find somebody hanging around um, yeah lo lots of characters um, lots of games going on, there was different games every day and then some of the games were repeated throughout so if you missed it one day you'd be able to do it the next day. Um, they tend to go on in places like the Promenade Lounge, D Lounge, Fathoms, O'Gills, all of those kind of bars and, and lounges. Um, I don't believe there's any activities kind of outside on the decks from what I could see. Um, obviously deck nine is the pool. Um, Probably my tip would be, if you've not got children, head for the adult pool and get there early. On a hot day, it's very hard to get a sunbed. And yeah, they, on a hot day, those beds fill very, very quickly. Um, the, there was lots of sun lounges around the main adult, the main adult, the main family pool, um, but it was very loud and very busy. Um, so we didn't go near um, that one. We were obviously two adults traveling on our own so we didn't really need to to go um on a hot day the queue was very big for the family pool um you had to queue up you would get 15 minutes in the pool and then the lifeguard would blow a whistle all those people would have to get out and the next people would get in and you could rejoin the queue as much as you wanted um but it was limited like that it is a very small pool um for obvious reasons there's not not room for a massive pool um on the night of the frozen deck parties, the pool is only open till six o'clock, I believe. Um, they cover over the pool and it, it becomes part of the deck um, so that they can do the freezing the night away show. I um, highly recommend seeing that. It was only a 20 minute show, but it was so much fun. Um, it was very cold in Liverpool that night, uh, very windy, but it made the perfect atmosphere for the show. Um, so yeah. I really enjoyed that. Disney Dreams, hands down the best show I've ever seen. It was incredible. Um, you will have seen in probably not 
the previous vlog, the one before that, I, I cried a lot through dreams. It was, it was just incredible. Um, my only gripe with, I'd say, the ship is that cast members were not enforcing masks in there. Um, as you head in, they tell you you need to keep your mask on throughout. There's no eating and drinking and things like that in there. Um, but once the lights go off, there was people eating next to us. Uh, the family in front just pulled their masks off. Um, blatantly breaking the rules, which really winds me up. You booked this knowing what the rules were. Why would you do? Why would you do that? But that is my only gripe and I believe a lot of people have fed that back to Disney as well, including myself who spoke to Disney before I went. Um, but yeah, that was my only, that's my only gripe with probably, I'd say, cast members. I feel like they should have been enforcing that more. Um, but an amazing show, um, lots of great films included in it. Um, yeah, I'm not going to spoil it but if you ever get the chance to see it go and watch it because it's incredible um the bars are all great and um, we didn't get to drinking keys because the one night we did go in there was no tables um but we went into a gills to join in with one of the quizzes that was really nice easy to get a table um we spent quite a lot of time in fathoms um so later on in the evening um, obviously it becomes an adults only bar um, and they do lots of games in there. We didn't join in the games but we did watch them and they were very funny um, and the two guys Sean and David who were running them were just brilliant. Um, I said highly recommend going to watch some of them um, even if you don't join in. They're, they're so much fun to watch. Um, my tip for the bars is if you order a drink make sure you are getting what you asked for and um, we had a little bit of an incident where the cast member we'd ordered a particular rosé I think it was the cheapest on the menu and he said something like I so I was actually in the, the bathroom or I'd gone up to the room and my mum ordered drinks and she didn't realise um and he said he was going to do something special and like you know a bit of pixie dust and all of this and we got charged nearly $30 for two glasses of rosé um so yeah, just make sure you know what you're paying for um, when they say they're going to give you something different. Um, you can walk from bar to bar with your drinks as well. Um, obviously, if you take your own wine, you've got to drink it in your stateroom. But if you buy a drink in O'Gill's, you can walk into Fathoms with it. And so kind of, yeah, we walked around with our drinks as well, which was nice. We didn't have to, because we kind of, one night we went into a girls to take part in a quiz and then we moved to Fathoms for another one and it would have been a little bit annoying to have to buy another drink because <laughs> um, yeah they they weren't horrendously expensive um it was around nine eight to nine dollars for a glass of wine which isn't isn't too bad um so yeah they're probably i feel like that's a bit of a, a whistle stop review of it um it was amazing, cast members were amazing, they were all so happy to be there. Um, yeah, just, it was an amazing time, an amazing experience, um, and something I will never forget. I, I had always said I wanted to do a Disney cruise, I never thought I'd actually do one, um, but I'm so glad I did. It was worth every penny. Um, I'm not gonna talk about how much we paid for it, because I don't think there's any point um the the prices vary from you know the date of the cruise the type of room you've got um where it's sailing from as well seem to make a difference so i'm not going to go into that but worth every penny um yeah it was yeah just incredible um if you've got any questions about it leave them below i'm happy to answer anything um kind of think I've covered all bases but I might not have done um so yeah if there's anything you want to know just just ask um and yeah I can't wait to do another cruise in the future they are 
talking about keeping these as a more permanent thing so obviously not all year round but maybe like once every other year um, or maybe even every summer I'm not entirely sure yet but um, it looks like we're going to be getting them again um, which it's just it, for me it's great you know not a lot of people can afford to do them from everywhere else um, I certainly couldn't they, they can be very expensive and especially if you're you know adding flights to Miami or Florida and places like that and tagging them onto Disney holidays they are not cheap um, so yeah a great opportunity if you ever get the chance to do one go for it because you won't regret it and now I'll show you what I bought and um, as I say we didn't go crazy um, the merchandise was very limited on these cruises um, I believe that there's been some issues getting stuff over from um, Florida um, I'm sure I read that on Facebook um, and unless you go on the first night you are very lucky to get <laughs> anything really um, we didn't go on the first night because we didn't realise they closed so early um, but we did buy a few things so um, I got this little pin that just says uh, Disney Magic on it um, and it's got Sorcerer Mickey um, I can't even tell you how much it was um, it's got them funny codes on the back and I can't remember I feel like it's probably about I don't know $14 or something like that I'll see if I can find the receipt and I will put the price up here um, if it's not there I couldn't find it uh, but I started um, a little pin collection I don't really do pin trading or anything like that but when I stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge I decided from now on every Disney resort I stayed in I was going to get a pin and display them all so I got my Disney Magic pin it's not really cruise related to be honest I have nothing apart from the name of the ship there's nothing cruise about it but yeah um, I got that I also got Christmas decoration which just says Disney Cruise Line on it um, and it's got since 1998 on it I feel like the 8th would been off a bit actually um, yeah that was 1695 um, the thing to remember with these cruises is everything every price you see then has 20% VAT added on top of it um, which I feel like I kind of forgot um, but yeah that was 16.95 um, I always buy a Christmas decoration in Florida so that's another one to add to my tree um, next up I got a mug which is just so cute it's literally the best thing ever it is slanted obviously like the funnel um, which is a little bit a little bit off-putting sometimes but yeah it's just got Disney Cruise Line written inside um, that was 16 um, I have been using it already um, but yeah I couldn't resist that one and they had maybe three or four different mugs um, we went on the second day um, the animated palette knife had sold out um, I believe that had sold out on an earlier cruise um, but it is now back in stock from what I've read um, so if you're after that um, there's a couple of like Christmas decorations and stuff I'd seen from some of the test cruise vlogs um, which I wanted and, and they no longer had so things you know if you've seen things online um, just kind of go in with the you know the mindset that they might not be there um, because they haven't got a lot of stock by the looks of it and I believe they've started limiting the amount that people buy now because I think on the early cruises people were buying more and there is a lot of stuff on eBay um, which is naughty but yeah um, so that was those and then got a nice photo frame which is out of the box because I had it stood on the cupboard behind me um, 
I'm going to get a nice picture um, on and put it in here um, of me and my mum, I think. Um, we didn't buy the photo package because it was very expensive. And we actually didn't get that many photos. You, So what you can do is whenever you see a photographer around the ship, you can have your photo taken and then you can decide to buy the package at the end if you want to. And we did have a look and the, there was a couple of nice pictures from dinner, but we didn't have anywhere near enough photos to make it worth it. Um, I can't remember what the cheapest one was, but they were some of them were in the region of $150 for the photo package. So we took enough nice pictures ourselves um, that I'm going to print one of my own and put that in there. And then the last thing I bought was this. It's got dust all over it already. Um, this was the one thing I knew I wanted to buy. Um, I love having like ornaments in my house and stuff. So um, this cabinet behind me is kind of my little Disney ornament section, apart from the prosecco right behind me. But yeah, um, but yeah, this was the one thing I knew I wanted. Um, this was $49, um, with tax added on top it was $59, <laughs> um, but I just love it, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, you can kind of see the detail on top, um, so it doesn't show, in fact it does show everything. I don't, I can't work, I don't think it's got... Yes, it has. I was trying to work out if it had deck 10 on it then. So deck 10 is up here, like round the edge. Um, these were like the sports areas, the adult pool, family pool, and the splash zone. Um, yeah. And this one down here is a little cast member pool and area. I think that's really cute actually that they've included that. Um, but yeah, it is just beautiful. It's even got the little slides on it. Um, So the aqueduct and the twist and spout. Um, I didn't do either of them. Um, if the weather had been nicer and we'd spent more time at the pool, um, maybe on the Saturday I might have done them. But Sunday we just kind of um, chilled at the adults pool and went in the, the whirlpool and that. Um, and I didn't want to get my hair wet, which that sounds a bit like a <laughs> like I'm a bit of a princess. I'm not. I just yeah couldn't be bothered to wash my hair. And then the last thing I got was my Alex and Annie bracelet. Hopefully this will focus. I'm not sure that's focusing. Um, but I love my Alex and Annie bracelets. I've got my pass holder one and um, I have another, like a run Disney one. Um, so I knew I wanted an Alex and Annie bracelet as well. So it's just got the little little wheel with the cruise logo on it. If it'll focus. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I really bought. Um, I say really, that's that's enough. <laughs> um, but I kind of bought like two big purchases, and then the other things were just little bits that I tend to. They're things I tend to buy every time I go to Disney. So. I thought I'd carry on that little, yeah, tradition. Um, my mum bought a t-shirt. Obviously, I don't have that here because it's at my mum's house. I found a very basic picture of it online that someone's taken. Um, so she bought that. Um, I can't remember how much it was. Um, but it's just got a Disney Cruise Line around the neck here and then it's got Minnie at the bottom with um, an anchor. Um, and then I bought these pyjamas, which again is a terrible picture. And they've got like Mickey and Goofy um, kind of little anchors. Um, they're very cute. They're short sleeve with shorts. Um, and my mum has put them away for my birthday. Um, in terms of spirit jerseys, there was not much. They had three different ones, but they weren't that nice. Um, 
and I wouldn't have worn them so as much as I wanted one I wouldn't have got the wear out of it um there was no lounge flies at all um yeah the, the merchandise was very it was very limited um, so if there's something you do have in mind that you want I would suggest heading there on the first night and trying to get it the shops are open till around 10 o'clock every night um, but just be aware the queue on the first night gets very very busy and um, if you get there on your like your first full day and um, the shops open around 10 a.m and there usually is a queue to get in we joined a queue that kind of went round the corner from the shop but once the shop opened we were in within minutes and um, so it's definitely worth you know the stuff you want head there early and and just get it um things like the ship and the mugs didn't really sell out um but i believe like christmas decorations any spirit jerseys you do want yeah they're all going quickly so yeah that's my little haul um from the trip um some nice little bits and pieces that i'll remember um, the trip by um and i hope you've enjoyed this um my little review of the ship um my my review of the merchandise um and yeah, I hope anybody who's still got a sale in coming up has an amazing time and um, just take it all in, make the most of it. Um, and I hope you have the best time. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them below, drop me a message. Um, I'm happy to answer any. And I will see you next time, I guess. Um, who knows when that will be. Hopefully I'll see you in a few weeks for Florida. But... I just don't know. Um, thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe. Yeah, it really means a lot when when you do. Leave me a comment. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>